hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys a recipe for matai you can use this for hard matai and or soft matai you will just have to change one or add one additional ingredient and shout out to this user right here him Hussein 732 for requesting this video so i appreciate you following i appreciate you supporting let's go ahead and hop right in so you're gonna add about three and a half cups of flour to your stand mixer i love to use my stand mixer you can do this by hand but i like the stand mixer to that i am going to add and this is how i make mine guys so you can if you don't i love my mitai with a lot of um what you call it a lot of spice to it so i added a tablespoon of cinnamon a tablespoon of nutmeg one teaspoon of ginger extract or you can also add ginger powder one tablespoon of vanilla two tablespoons of sugar one tablespoon of custard powder and a stick of softened butter so you're going to go ahead and add that to your thing along with a teaspoon of salt and then mix it up all right guys so if at this point you want to have the soft donut type metai you can go ahead and go ahead and add about a half a tablespoon of baking powder to your flour before adding your milk and then have everything mixed in together i am not looking for that one so i'm not adding any baking powder to this so it's not going to allow it to rise or anything like that however even with this particular recipe because you add the butter and to me the custard powder the metai is not going to be super hard so it's going to be crunchy outside but still soft on the inside so bring your dough together and once it's mixed and fully incorporated you should have this looking dough or your dough all the way together and you want to go ahead and just let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes while you work on the simple syrup for the mid tie now for the simple syrup and excuse my lighting guys my ring light broke so until i can buy a new one we're working with what we're working with so for the simple syrup it's going to be two parts sugar to one part water and it's super super easy to make it's literally called simple syrup because it's very simple to make so you add two cups of sugar to one cup of water and you're going to put that on to boil now for this i like to add cinnamon stick cloves and you can always add star anise to it too so just a couple um pieces of cinnamon stick one cinnamon stick a couple pieces of cloves and then i also added about a tablespoon of vanilla now while that is going you're gonna let that boil down until you cannot see the sugar no more and you let it come to a boil then you're gonna turn it off now for my dough I'm just gonna go ahead and roll out my dough as you can see I'm pressing for the elasticity to see if it's gonna bounce back to me that's how I know my dough is ready and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it out or just knead it a little bit and then I'll cut this into two doughs now or two balls actually all right guys so at this point you just want to go ahead and roll out your dough you, this is all up to you at this point however you want your dough to be how thick you want it to be how thin you want it to be if you want long matai short matai that's all up to you i can't tell you really how to do that but i can only show you how i do mine so i'm going to go ahead and roll mine to the desired thickness that i want it to be about an inch to about an inch and a half and then i typically just cut mine into little rectangles all right, so at this point, this is what mine is looking like. Once I finish cutting, I cut my own down the middle and then cut it into little strips, little rectangles, whatever you want to call it. But again, do it to however you want to do it. Some people cut it, some people roll theirs. It's all up to you. If you want to do it however you want to do it, do it to your liking and how your family likes it. All right, so at this point, guys, you want to just make sure your oil is hot and then you're just going to go ahead and dump your dough or your strips into the oil. And then you're pretty much gonna fry it until it's golden brown or it's crispy pretty much so just don't overcrowd your pan don't put too much in because it tends to lower the temperature if you add too much stuff whenever frying so just don't do that so put enough and then let it fry until it gets golden brown and when it gets to the color you like pull it out all right so at this point your mitta is all done i'm sorry your simple syrup is all done now you want to go ahead and put a spoon in it and if you see it, it's pretty much thick on the spoon it's ready near metai is also finished you want to go ahead and fish out the cloves and the cinnamon out of the simple syrup and pour it on now you want to put a little bit of syrup at a time you don't want to pour too much because you're going to crystallize this it's not going to crystallize how we know it to be so go ahead and do that 
all right and then you want to go ahead and just keep shaking it guys just keep shaking it so you can get the air to pass through it and that's how it's going to crystallize and get the coating that we're used to let's go ahead and plate it up all right guys so once it's done this is what it looks like our metai that we grew up knowing and loving and it's so delicious because it's not overly hard like some of them that you may have it'll still have the nice soft crunchy texture on the inside um soft texture on the inside crunchy on the outside but i do hope that you guys love today's recipe thank you so very much for requesting this one thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and until next time peace